Hi guys, welcome to another episode of H Talks Comics, Films and Combat Sports. Um, right now I'm going to be talking about Chris Hutton getting sacked from Brighton, um, Brighton FC Football Club in the EPL for foreign viewers, which is English Premier League or the Premiership or the Premier League for more local inhabitants. Um, so basically, I'm just going to give you the news. Uh, he was sacked, he had a 40% win ratio while manager of Brighton. They only won, I believe, three of the last 23 league matches, which obviously isn't great, but he did keep them up again. He kept them in the Premier League, which in itself is great. Um, Dan Ashworth, who I believe used to be the FA's technical director, is now Brighton's technical director. Only in February, he said this, and quote, we hope to keep Chris Hewton as long as humanly possible, end quote. Actual facts, go have a look at that. Um, I've done a little video, and this is, like I said, I don't like making things about ethnicity or race or stuff like that. So it's not about that. Obviously, because he's of mixed origin, he's a uh, black Irish. Obviously, that's going to be important, but it's not the reason. Definitely not. But this does dissuade and probably does affect black managers in a knock-on effect because of this. Darren Moore um, got fourth in the league and then got sacked. And then as far as I'm aware, West Brom actually finished four, fourth or fifth in the championship. I'm not fully sure on that detail, but it, they're in the playoffs. So basically, you could have kept Darren Moore and they would have been exactly where they are right now. You can say that you can, you can literally um, give your opinion either way, but there's nothing to prove that replacing Darren Moore has helped with Brom when they're in the exact same position or worse than they were. They're in the playoffs, they'll probably lose. Um, they could still win, but um, obviously also that gives them a bit of a bugbear from other fans. And not just multicultural fans, from every kind of fan, because they're thinking, the manager's doing all right, he's fourth in the league, why are you going to sack him? And you might not even get promoted. I've seen on forums that people have said they don't want West Brom, not because Darren was black, but because the manager's fourth, why sack him? And then get to the same place anyway. That is whatever, his uh, colour is just incidental, or ethnicity, because no one's really a colour. Let's not get into a little racial chat, because that'll be over here forever. Um, I'm one of the only channels that actually mentions this kind of stuff. I know that for a fact, because I've watched other people talking, and people are too scared. But the way I see it is, the reason people are scared is because they think if they mention something, have an opinion, someone else will come out of them and think they're coming from a different type of, type of view, different point of view. That's not the fact. Like literally most people are the sound. My dad's a white dude from Yorkshire, do you know what I mean? My mum's an Asian woman that was born down these ends, born in England as well. Like most people are cool. They're obviously going to be people who don't like you for a certain reason, but it's how you come across. That's what I believe. And like you guys viewing my videos, you're just showing me love like at the moment. Like obviously there's going to be criticisms from my videos and stuff, whatever. But you just got to take things on board. In terms of football, though, it's a different kettle of fish, let's say. It's a completely different kettle of fish. The fact that over 35, at last count, it might be higher now, then 35% um, of BAME, which means black and ethnic minority um, group, basically it's ethnic people, it makes it easier. Players, make up the players, and then only something like, it was, what was it? Oh, I can't remember the exact stat, but it was less than 8%. It might be higher now, no, it'll be less now, won't it? Of course it'll be less now. Of all the managers in the English Football League, I don't know what we're going to do were actually of BAME origin, so say black ethnic minority. I'm using that word by the way because it's easier. A lot of people don't like it, they're like, oh, what's BAME? It's just easier, isn't it? Because all of them we've got to go through Moroccan, French, German, do you know what I mean? It's like all people of ethnicity who've got melanin, melatonin, melanin in their body. Anyway, so Chris Hewitt has been sacked. And do you know what the thing is? Let's let's make it another thing. Let's get rid of the racial thing for a second. Actually, let's get rid of that. We don't need that back in, the, back in this one. Let's get rid of this. Let's get um, bring this into focus. Are Brighton better than 17? Like, let's be honest. They don't put a huge amount of funds in, which is whatever. Um, I don't know what their resources are like. I don't know their situation. But for a team like Brighton, let's be honest, most of you have never heard of Brighton until they got in the Premier League. I'll probably get some hatred for this, but I don't really care. Like, there's certain teams you've heard of. Like, growing up, like I said, I support England. That's it, I support England, but I've heard of teams. When I grew up, Man United, everyone knew them. Uh, Arsenal, Liverpool, Newcastle, Tottenham, a little bit more more towards the 2000s. Uh, West Ham, no matter what you say, they're historical. Millwall, everyone's heard of Millwall. Even average person. 
Brighton FC, Brighton Hove Albion, no one who's a casual, not a football fan, a casual, I don't know if you guys watch the football fans or casual fans, but casual fans, they didn't know about them. They've got this rivalry with Crystal Palace. What's that about? Like, I could go into it and research it, but I'm not going to. But for a team like Brighton, surely they're staying in the Premier League, getting estimated £100 million. £100 million is worth it alone. Surely that alone says, Chris Hewton, you've kept us up. Thank you. Here's some money. Here's 50 mil. Whatever. Give half. Yeah, give at least half. Give 50 mil. See what you can do. Consolidate. Be like um, Bournemouth. Be like um, Burnley. And do that. Here's the thing. Bournemouth are doing well. They always seem to do well. Do you know why? Because they stick behind Eddie uh, Howe. They respect him. They give him not even huge money, but enough money. I'm pretty sure they've got that. Who they spent money on Solanke. Do you know what I mean? And who didn't really get many games this season. Maybe he'll do better. But that's not the point. They gave him money to put in. Hewton, as far as I'm aware, hasn't been given that big money. Hasn't been given even average money. So how can a manager keep you up in a Premier League? Put it this way. Neil Warnock, if he kept Cardiff up, I would... Say the exact same thing. Exact same thing. Neil Warnock, yeah? If he kept Cardiff up and they sacked him, I'd say, you're absolute bells. Absolute bells. And it does frustrate me. And it's not about the guys ethnicity or anything. I mentioned that earlier, but that's more to do with the higher the higher totem and the actual ethnic um, managers in football. But let's be straight up. If, um, I don't know who told us for his new manager. Uh, that's, how, that's how bad is it? That's how bad it is. I can't even think of his name. But, um, Definitely Fulham, if Scott Parker kept him up and he got sacked, I'd be shocked. I'd want him to come up. But they well done, Scott Parker getting the actual full time position. Um, I think basically David Wagner, if he actually managed to keep Huddersfield up before they got rid of him, Jan Seward, sorry, sorry, Jan. But yeah, Jan Seward as well, if he kept up Huddersfield and then they sacked him after keeping them up, that's your level. That's the thing. Leicester won the Premier League a few years ago because. Everything happened at the right time. Do you know what I mean? Tottenham weren't great. Arsenal weren't great. They were the two challengers. Chelsea were terrible. Man City, I think it was Pep's first season. Uh, Liverpool weren't great either. Do you know what I mean? It was literally the perfect cauldron. It happens every 20 odd years. Ipswich did it back in the day. Blackburn did it in the 90s. Leicester did it now. It's just like it's one of those things. But now every other little team, and I'm saying little in terms of worldwide famous off, so don't get your panties in a twist, please, Brighton fans. They think they need to be the next level. It's like Watford versus Man City. Man City are going to be huge on top favourite. They most likely will smash Watford to smooth rings. But Watford have a chance because we're going to beat them a few years ago. Different management. But that's, I mean, factual. Like some teams, whether it's through finance, whether it's through history or whatever, they become a bigger team. They have the resources to compete. Brighton don't have the resources to compete. So why get rid of a manager who's kept you up? And like I said, I, I think Chris Hewton's cool. I think Neil Warnock's cool. I feel like. Um, Dan Stewart, never really heard him talk, don't really know much about him. I think he seems cool. How can a manager keep you up and then you still sack him? But what do they think they're going to do? They're going to get some next manager, Brighton, maybe take him all above the leagues, yeah? Like I said, next season, hey, they might prove me wrong. They might take, give them the resources and they might become some amazing team. More likely they'll get relegated and they look like fools. Let's see what happens. It's a very controversial video for me, but sometimes you've got to be controversial. That's another episode of h Talks Comics, Films and combat sports thank you